said in his prayer, we're praying that the Lord will continue to use this place, use this group of people, this church, to uh, be a shining light and a beacon along this shore. I can't help but take notice every time I drive down this way, as I drive down from Carver, so many churches are shuttered and closed. And then we get here, and this place is here. And I pray that it will continue to be a beacon to people who need to know the Lord. And I just want to encourage you and thank you so much for your ministry here and uh, for what you're doing and, uh, and for your faithfulness. Uh, it's, it's really something. And uh, I believe that the Lord will answer your prayer. And I believe the Lord has something special in store. For you people. And we're going to see the chorus now, oh, to be his hand extended. Reaching out to the oppressed, let me touch him. Let me touch Jesus so that others may know and be blessed. How will they know if there's nobody to tell them? How will they know? It pains my heart to see things in such a decline. I often think and I often say to people, Things like the Lord's Prayer, after our generation, who will know that? Who will be around to teach people that sort of thing? So I've made it a point in recent months that, that when I pray, I end it with the Lord's Prayer. Because I think it's important to know those things. I know it's just something from memory, but I think it's important to know it's an indicator of things that are important to us. And I think along the shore, the score is important to people. You're important to people. Most importantly of all, you're important to God. Oh, to be his hand. Extend. Let's stand as we see it. Extend. 